Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel at the moment, the links to our social media are coming up on the screen now, including things like our Teespring store where you can buy fine pieces of merchandise like this fairy shirt. Today, we've returned back to the Statfold Barn Railway for their Hunslet 150 plus one event because it's 151 years since Hunslet first started making things like that behind me. So they put on a gala and that's visiting. Britomart there on the back of the train there is also visiting and generally there's a lot of stuff going on. There are in fact 14 locomotives out today and so that's um, that's quite a lot of stuff going on. So I'll enjoy this look at the gala and what's going on here at the railway. We arrived at the railway bright and early in time to see some of the preparation being undertaken. And there was so much of this footage that I actually assembled it into its own standalone video. So if you're liking what you're seeing here, the link is just at the top of the screen now to take you to that video where you can chill out and watch a load of locomotives being prepped. For me, it was a wonderful way to spend a morning watching these iron dinosaurs being restored to life. And so with all the engines prepped and ready to go, I've been chatting to some of the crews and they've told me something very exciting. If I happen to be in the right place at the right time, one of the drivers will come up to me, tap me on the shoulder and take me to their engine to hover drive. But they haven't told me which one or where. So I'm going to go this way down the line to the balloon loop because that's where a station is and hopefully Hopefully, I'm going to get a drive of something. I've also got permission to put some of the cameras on the engines, so we're going to show you a ride around Statfold cut together with, well, some of the stuff we see by the side. So, join me as I hope to get a ride something here. So, of course, put the, your thoughts in the comments below. Just which engine, if any, will I get to drive? First up was something truly special. That was absolutely lovely. The four Penryn locos working together for the uh, first time in a very long time. And just for the first trip down, and then by the time they get to the balloon loop, they're coming off. So that was a, a one-off for the gala. And highly entertaining. And I think that they used to work together and they're back together in preservation. It's just wonderful. And sure enough, here we see GP39 and Sybil Marrying hurrying back light engine. And with them out the way, the line was clear for Sieging and Martian to make their way back with the train. The second day had one more treat, and that was four quarry hunslets on one train.
even if it was only three of them actually working. And it wasn't just the fleet of steam engines out and working, oh no, the Burton and Ashby Tramp was also out and giving rides. And alongside this wonderful old beast, there was also an exhibition of a live steam running in the exhibition centre. But back to the main event and starting off having a look at the visitors, Britta Mart and Lilla working on the high level. on a rock. Oh.
Wasn't that awesome seeing parallel running two steam engines about the, the same type? Well, basically the same type. Hundreds of working together, parallel running. I don't think I've ever seen that before, ever. I think that was, <laughs> that was unreal. That was wonderfully, wonderfully in sync and planned. I don't know if that was a timetable plan or just we happened to be in the same place at the same time. Regardless, it was rather lovely. That was really, really good. Stunning, wasn't it, coming up there? That was, it's a really good place. The problem is there's not really a decent enough shot because you've got gates in the way and it's slightly lower, but the sound is marvellous.
to get into London. So I really, really have a soft spot for GP Thunder or Bronco 39 or Bronco. And this is the first time I've seen it run since it was at Brestman when I was at the age where I was volunteering. So this is the first time I've actually seen it doing anything on its own since I actually last crewed it when I was like that big and had my first ever drive of it. So it's really special. It sounds great. I've got to be honest with you. Until I actually saw that it was coming here, I had no idea that Jonathan even existed anymore.
Now, Isaac is one of the largest engines running. In fact, it is the largest engine running here today, so it's almost exclusively running just on its own, as a plane running works. Now, one thing it does have, as you might have heard, is the two-tone whistles there, which, just like any other driver with any sense, if you have a two-tone whistle, you must use both of the whistles. Now, back in the day, they were used for communicating with your guard. Today, they're just playthings to put a tune on. So that's why I do like being on Great Western Engines, you sit there and be like, boop, boop, boop. It's, it's very good. <laughs> Make such a pretty pairing. Two Penryn engines back together again, working in tandem, doing nothing like what they were designed to do or what they did originally, but it's just real nice seeing them together. Now, the other thing to go on with this is the sheer amount of stuff that goes on. I have enough time, I had enough time to swing a battery in this camera before the next train came. The timetable is just immense. I've never been to another railway where it's just the sheer frequency of trains goes faster. Already there's something beginning its way down there. It's just, it's, it's just, it's a little silly. It's genuinely a little bit silly. Too soon, however, it was the end of the day and time for the traditional Statfold Barn locomotive lineup at Strawberry Park, where all of the locomotives that have worked during the day are lined up for all to see, so we can all admire them in their splendour. This obviously included the visitors, which meant this was the single largest lineup of quarry hunslets I personally have ever seen and it really was something quite special to behold. It also had the moment to see all the people involved in running a day like this, so we could give our thanks to them. And then of course, the traditional whistle off.
And with silence restored, the locomotives all headed off towards the shed, marking the end of the day. So that brings us to the end of the day here at the Stapfold Barn Railway, and we've retreated into the garden where it's well, just beautiful at the end of the day, tranquil and quiet. And rather sadly, none of the drivers have actually Hi. come up to me today. It's just the one I've been looking for. Oh, hello. Put that on and follow me, Colin, sir. <laughs> Turns out, it's been a very good day. go again for another trip round. It was a long and hard decision, I thought for a long while about it, maybe a second. <laughs> <laughs> 